Subhas Chandra Bose biography, The Patriotism of Indian Nationalist Subhas Chandra Bose, has left a lasting impression on many Indians. He is well known for founding the organization, Azad Hind Fauj, and his slogan as, Tum Mujhe Kundu, Main Tumhe Azadi Dunga. The burn injuries, he sustained in a plane crash, caused Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, to pass away on August 18, 1945, at a hospital in Taiwan. On January 23, 1897, he was born in Katak, Arisa. The most well-known liberation fighter, Subhash Chandra Bose, possessed exceptional leadership qualities, and was a charismatic orator. His slogans include, Delhi Chalo, Tum Mujhe Kundu, Main Tumhe Azadi Dunga. He established, Azad Hind Fauj, and made numerous contributions, to the fight for India's independence. He is renowned for his socialist policies, as well as for the forceful tactics, he utilized to win independence. Early life and family history, the son of Prabhavati Dutt Bose, and Janakinath Bose, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, was born in Katak, Arisa, on January 23, 1897. His father had the title of Rai Bahadur, and was a well-known lawyer in Katak. Like his siblings, he attended the Protestant, European school in Katak, which is now Stuart High School. He completed his undergraduate studies, at Presidency College. After reading their writings, at the age of 16, Swami Vivekanand, and Ramakrishna's, teachings had an impact on him. Then, in order to prepare for the Indian civil service, his parents sent him, to the University of Cambridge, in England. In 1920, he passed the civil service examination, but in April 1921, after hearing of the nationalist turmoil in India, he resigned his candidacy, and hurried back to India. Ideology, Bhagavad Gita, had an impact on him, and he saw it as a source of inspiration, for the fight against the British. From a young age, Subhash Chandra Bose, was highly affected by the universalist, and nationalistic ideas, of Swami Vivekanand. He was drawn to the ideas of socialism, and communism, when he was a member of the Congress party. However, he thought it would succeed in India, if National Socialism, and Communism were to be combined. He favoured gender equality, secularism, and other liberal ideologies, but he didn't think democracy was ideal for India. Subhash Chandra Bose, an Indian National Congress, he joined the non-cooperation movement, which Mahatma Gandhi founded, and turned into a potent non-violent movement. Mahatma Gandhi recommended, he collaborate with Chitranjan Das, who later served as his political mentor, during the agitation. Following that, he worked as a youth educator, and volunteer commander, for the Bengal Congress. He founded the, Swaraj, newspaper. After being released from prison in 1927, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, joined the Congress party as general secretary, and fought for independence with Jawaharlal Nehru. At the time of the civil disobedience movement, Bose, was in detention for linking, with a Bengal revolutionary group. He became the mayor of Calcutta, while in prison. Thereafter he was released, and detained several times on suspected links to revolutionary groups. Finally, he was released on grounds, of poor health, and allowed by the government to go to Europe. He returned from Europe, in 1936, and remained in detention, for about a year. After being elected, President of the Indian National Congress, in 1938, he established a National Planning Committee, and developed a wide industrialization agenda. However, Gandhi's economic theory, which stuck to the idea of cottage industries, and profiting from the utilization of the nation's own resources, did not agree with this. When Subhash Chandra Bose, won his re-election bid in 1939, over Gandhi's opponent, it served as vindication for him. Nevertheless, the rebel president felt compelled to step down because Gandhi didn't back him. Subhash Chandra Bose escaped from India. Subhash Chandra Bose evaded house arrest in 1941 and left India wearing a disguise. Adolf Hitler even met with him and he began to receive backing from Nazi Germany. 
He established the Free India Centre in Berlin and recruited Indian pals who had previously fought for the British in North Africa before being captured by Axis troops to form the Indian Legion which now numbers about 4,500 soldiers. The Indian soldiers of the Indian Legion and representatives of the Special Bureau for India in Berlin placed the title of Netaji on Bose in Germany in 1942. Nazi Germany was slipping backwards in the West in the years 1942 to 1943 when World War II was in full flow. Japanese forces were rapidly approaching in the East. The Bengal famine and the Quit India campaign were both raging in India. Subhash Chandra Bose left for Japan in 1943 after experiencing failure in Germany. Azad Hind Fauj or Indian National Army INA, the establishment and efforts of the Azad Hind Fauj, commonly referred to as the Indian National Army or INA, during the Second World War, were a significant development in the struggle for liberation. With the help of Indians living in Southeast Asian nations, Rash Bihari Bose, an Indian revolutionary who had fled his country and spent many years living in Japan, founded the Indian Independence League. The League created the Indian National Army from among the Indian Pals with the intention of releasing India from British domination after Japan defeated the British Army and seized nearly all of the Southeast Asian nations. The organization of this force was greatly aided by General Mohan Singh, a former officer in the British Indian Army. Subhash Chandra Bose, who was working for India's independence, fled India in 1941 and went to Germany. He arrived in Singapore, in 1943, to head the Indian Independence League, and develop the Indian National Army, Azad Hind Forge into a powerful tool, for India's freedom. About 45,000 soldiers, made up the Azad Hind Forge, including Indian prisoners of war, and Indians, who had settled in various Southeast Asian nations. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose announced the establishment of the Provisional Administration of Independent India, Azad Hind, in Singapore on October 21, 1943. In the Andaman, which the Japanese had previously occupied, Netaji raised the Indian flag. Three units of the Azad Hind Forge, INA, took part in the offensive on northeastern India at the beginning of 1944 in an effort to drive the British out of the country. The warriors who had entered India, according to Shanawaz Khan, one of the most important Azad Hind Forge officers, lay flat on the ground and fervently worshipped the precious soil of their motherland. However, Azad Hind Forge's attempt to liberate India was unsuccessful. The Japanese government was not seen as a friend of India by the Indian nationalist movement. It felt sympathy for the citizens of those nations that had suffered because of Japan's invasion. But according to Netaji, British control over India might be overthrown with the cooperation of the Japanese-backed Azad Hind Forge and an uprising within the country. Indians, both inside and outside of the nation, found inspiration in the Azad Hind Forge, which was known for its Delhi Chilo slogan and salutation. For the sake of India's freedom, Netaji joined forces with Indians from all regions and denominations who were residing in Southeast Asia. Indian women made significant contributions to the fight for India's independence. The Azad Hind Forge organized a women's unit which Captain Lakshmi Swaminathan oversaw. The regiment's name was Rani Jansi. The Azad Hind Forge came to represent unity and bravery among Indians. A few days after Japan's surrender, Netaji, one of the most influential figures in India's battle for independence, was declared dead in an aviation crash. Fascist Germany and Italy were defeated in 1945, bringing an end to the Second World War. In the war, millions of people died. The United States of America launched atomic bombs on the two cities of Japan, Hiroshima and Nagasaki when the war was drawing to a close and Italy and Germany had already been vanquished. These cities were completely destroyed and approximately 200,000 people were dead in a matter of seconds. Japan gave up shortly after this. Despite the fact that the use of atomic weapons ended the war, it also caused new global tensions and a new race to develop increasing weapons that may take out all of humanity. 
Subhash Chandra Bose Jayanti, is celebrated on the 23rd of January every year, as a mark of remembrance, for his contribution to nation building. He was born on this day in Katak, Orissa. Officially, this day is called Parakram Divas, to celebrate, and imbibe the quality of courage, and valor that Subhash Chandra Bose demonstrated, throughout his life. It was on this, that last year a towering statue, of Netaji was unveiled by the Prime Minister of India, at Kartavyapath. Children in schools, teachers, government officials, and politicians, cutting across the party lines, pay homage to Netaji on this day. Death of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose Subhash Chandra Bose died on August 18, 1945, in a plane crash, the INA forces were being captured or surrendered, and he was en route to Tokyo, through Taiwan. On August 18, 1945, Subhash Chandra Bose, reportedly perished in an airplane collision over Taipei, Taiwan, Formosa. There isn't a lot of information available, despite the widespread belief that he survived the plane disaster.